again, I think that's fair enough. And that, I think, is also quite indicative of where this matchup is, right? It is kind of a 50-50 matchup at this point in time. I mean, Mind Freak can quite easily take maps and maybe even series off Art of War. And you could say the same thing about Art of War, being able to take maps and more than likely actually series off of Mind Freak, which has happened more often than not. Art of War have actually got the better of Mind Freak a couple of times in their recent history. So I learned Art of War that way, but you seem to be on that Mind Freak hype train. We'll find out, and I won't be too surprised to see Mind Freak come away with a win here, but I'll just, uh, I'll, I'll back Art of War again tonight. Yeah, I think that's sensible. They've won the last two best of three series in a row, so they're currently 2-0 in overall series against Mind Freak. Ricky was getting caught off guard there. Art of War with a firm hold over Banana. A little bit of pressure elsewhere on the map, but five sets of armor. There is really just not uh, any real strategy or, or grenades to this round for Art of War, and that's why you're seeing the dry walk straight up mid here, and they're going to go in for the contact plate. That's it. No connections until Gump starts to get involved. The Dooley's only able to grab one as Terry comes flying across the balcony. And that is actually the A site now taken for Art of War. It seems that their map, their home ground, Inferno, continues to be a stronghold as the pistol round is looking pretty well wrapped up. A two on four retake won't be an easy task for Ricky and Tux. They are going to be aided by the fact that they do at least have a smoke. But... Time is of the essence, and they're going to have to start moving pretty quickly if they want to even have any chance of using that to defuse the bomb. Tux is trying to work his way up from Porch, but he hasn't spotted anybody out. And a lot of discipline from Art of War. Not overpeaking, not giving anything away, and they will get themselves the pistol as a result. Yeah, good stuff from them. Pretty simple approach, just a little bit of pressure around the map, pushing the Mind Freak boys off of that info line towards Banana, and then just... Dry walking up middle and sending it into A works out beautifully for Art of War. And those are the kind of rounds that I think like you're going to see mixed in a little bit more. Like we've said, we've seen these two teams play each other multiple times in a row now. So that's where you're going to start to see that familiarity factor. It's something that we used to talk about in Oceania all the time at the top level. You'd see, you know, Greyhound, Mind, uh, Greyhound uh, Order, Avant all playing each other all the time, non-stop might have played each other the most in the most series out of anyone in the world um at times just literally playing each other week in week out in double elimination brackets non-stop not quite at that level here but still after two series in a row against mind freak and knowing that you're going to be coming up again the, against them time and time again that's where you're going to start to see some funky rounds and you know some dry contact where one team might have a bit of a read all spies come out here for Mind Freak. A lot of HE na nade damage onto Ricky, who is at least isolated for now. Gonna try to drop that smoke on the half or keep himself alive, but with the boost up over the top, he really doesn't have anywhere to go. Tux, try to hang around, see if he can punish any of the T's that try to force through for that sandbag pick. But as things settle down, Mind Freak gonna walk their way back towards spawn side. And still set up quite heavily in towards carpets with the boiler and uh, deep carpet set up. In fact, Mind Freak, after a lot of bead pressure early on, are just going to go ahead and stack that A site. Yeah, I don't hate it from Mind Freak. Give themselves a bit of a crack in the next round if things don't go to plan here. And it would seem that Art of War lean towards B. Gump goes down with that. Bit more of an aggressive push out of the apartments, but in that meanwhile. You are getting Neo just sort of contacting his way onto B. He's not seeing anything really. Texter will actually be able to grab that kill. But Mind Freak don't really have much of the site control. So it's really onto Texter to hold strong here. And that kill actually makes this interesting. Bomb is on its way back and forth in Banana. They're all a bit scared. Viridian's not sure where he needs to go right here. Bomb's going to be tossed across. And the plant's going to come through, but it needs to be covered, oh. and it's not. Oh, my word. Art of War have really fumbled the bag in this round. It's on to Oath in a 1v3, and he's got a player flanking him from behind. It should never have gotten to this point, but Texa comes up with the goods and gives them a chance. Mind Freak down to two now, but that double swing is going to be enough, and Texa take a bow. That is an ace in round two, most of which happened with an MP9, and honestly... That is a massive failure of a round from Art of War. They just kept peeking him one by one by one, and Texas said, what's up? It's good to see him back in the server, 
absolutely love it. MP9 kills as well, Jordan. Look at how rich this man is. 6k in the bank account. Round number three. Resetting the economy here of Art of War. That is pure impact from Techstuff. I totally agree. What is this spacing? You can see it in the replay. One player just getting caught off guard by himself. The low HP player covering the high HP planter. That is a massive oversight from Art of War. And they've been punished heavily for it. Yeah, not a great start to the series, unfortunately, for Art of War. I mean, the pistol round did, did look nice, but if that's the kind of level we're going to get today from Art of War, then uh, it's going to be a tough one for them. Still, Mind Freak will be happy with it. Payne's got himself an AWP very early on in the piece. And I mean, uh, he's always a key piece of the puzzle for Mind Freak. Going to get the flash to retake Banana here, which I'm sure Ricky will just respect. Fall off the line. Flash up over the top. Full blinds him. Drop the smoke towards half wall. Running at him. Oh, a smoke with an MP9 in hand. He should get a bit of a farm on here. Absolutely beautiful stuff from Ricky and Ace. Back to back from both Ricky and Texter. Texter's one a little bit more impressive than that, but still pretty good for Ricky. And more MP9 kills means more cash for Mind Freak. And you know what that means, Jordan? Here on a map that they've lost multiple times to Art of War. This is the kind of start that gets you scratching your head and thinking, hmm, mm. might be on for a little bit of a map one upset when the CT side starts this strongly. Yep, yep. And a map one upset would really throw the gauntlet down at Art of War because then they would need to find their elusive upset, which they've sort of been unsuccessful in, in their attempts at taking Nuke off of Mind Freak in their last couple of matchups. Yeah, so. setting up for a 2-0. I'm picking up uh, what you're putting down, but it's early it's, days. It's only 2-1. It, that's what I was about to say. Stop taking the words right out of my mouth. I'm the color caster here. <laughs> oh, boy. Oops, out for pain here. Ricky also hanging around with the full belt of util. You can see Tux at Coffins ready with the reactive flash over on the A side of the map. Pretty passive setup for Mind Freak. Art of War have not really done too much early on in this round. They've just dropped off Banana in towards Carpets. There's a Molotov to try to push back this player at Car. Anticipating the AWP to have come out for pain here. Brackets Util. Light little bit of Util comes out. Another chip damage grenade onto Pain, who's still sticking around on 36 HP. It's brave. Maybe a little bit too brave as he goes down early. You can see Art of War looking to pick up the pace straight onto Ricky. He's only got an MP9, but he's still holding on and doing damage here. Yeah, it's a pretty calculated risk, though, from Ricky, right? Like, he knows they're probably coming. Maybe I just stick around on this off angle, see if I can get one and back off. And he does do just that. And that gives Mind Freak some kind of an inroad here to try and make a retake happen. A four on three now. Zoth does hit that shot onto Tux. It's a sharp one. Look at Banana. Ooh. Was a good bit of util damage coming through, but yeah, you're right. This is starting to look a little bit more dire for Mind Freak, especially with that flank coming through. It isn't even necessary at this point. Look, he's dead. And so, Art of War, they claw their way back into some semblance of a position here early on on Inferno, but there'll still be one more buy here from Mind Freak to get through. Yeah, Ricky can drop an AWP over to Pain, who didn't really have too much impact early on there. I think uh, stuck around despite taking a lot of damage and all it's going to take is you to miss that one shot and then Art of War punishing. So pretty passive start for Art of War. They do a really good job neutralizing the AWP early on and that AWP has been handed straight across to Viridian. He's going to say thank you very much. Next exchange in towards Banana early on here. Double HE onto Tux, does a fair bit of damage. AWP has been moved over towards the A side of the map this time from Mind Freak, but it's only a glass cannon for pain. And Art of War organizing themselves for an early A play. Pain with his second attempt, and this one's going to go a little bit better. Gum's there to help him out as well, but he'll fall on top of poor Truve. Still, reasonable trade for Mind Freak, and they end up with the numbers advantage, if not the site control. Made in here from Texter. Won't quite find the timing, but it does unsettle Viridian enough that he hasn't planted the bomb yet, and that'll give some more time for Tux to work up through carpets. 
I think Ricky's just going to bait him on the flank here. Let Tux go first. This is a very intentional off timing. It looks silly for Tux to die there. But now you're not expecting a secondary Carps flank. Creeping out on the line. Apparently you are. Banana really switched onto that. Text out in the open. Able to get Pistol. that more adjustment on towards... No! Him. And he quite get it together. He gets pistol whipped by the Glock. Oh, 3-2 for Art of War. Two in a row after a horrific start in round two and an ace from Techstar. Art of War immediately flipped the script and draped that CT economy and they're back on top. Yeah, wow. This is uh, already a game that's kind of delivering, is it not? Like, we're kind of getting everything already. Great round on both sides. I liked, uh, like what you said, what Tux was trying to do there, but Banana just a little bit too switched on to it. Dealt with Ricky pretty comfortably and... He's a clutch from Viridian as well. I feel like you should never expect a secondary carbs flank there. That is such a weird timing. And it's a, a very intentional thing that a lot of teams do in TAC FPS, where you just send the player on the flank position early, and then you have someone just hard baiting him, especially if he's low HP or something like that. I <laughs> like what they're doing. <laughs> Texter is taking over today. I want to see much more of this. I want to see this from Texter every game. The dry pushes. This is how he made his name in the O scene. He made his name as this pug player who would just always dry push stuff, always push the issue, do these kind of random peaks in the mid round and kind of get under the skin of the more established pro players at the time. And then he started just to become one of the best players in Australia. You know, it started off as like, wow, this guy plays so random. He's a bit gimmicky in the pugs. So like, okay, this guy's just legit one of the best. Yeah, I kind of had him to win that uh, clutch as well, but Radiant really keeps it alive for Art of War. Seems like that early inroad made by Texter is probably not going to have much of an impact on this round, unfortunately, for Mind Freak. But maybe they can catch up with Terry. Four players pushing into him at the bottom of a T ramp. He's going to be feeling a little bit antsy, so we'll just back off. So, good choice. Drops the bink though, and it'll be finished off by Tuck. So, at least some damage being done by Mind Freak in this round. They've collected a couple of AKs. Overall, I think you consider that a win for what was essentially a full eco round. Yeah, it's a P250 from Texter, and he's putting it to good work. So, 100% agree. Couple of rifles saved on over. Payne might look for one more exit here. And you can see the money on Art of War still has not really built up too much. They're going to take the path of least resistance. Sensible exit route through library. Keep three guns up. So four and two for Art of War, despite the worst possible start to this game. And I think, Jordan, that really just shows how good they are at this map. You know, despite mm. getting aced with an MP9 in round two and losing complete control of their economy, they still win two gun rounds back to back. They still close out the anti eco with three guns up. And they're still going to be leading this 4-2 on the T side. Credit where credit's due. It uh, is a great map for Art of War. I mean, you don't get a 90% win rate over 12 maps played without some good reason. And it's not even against like bad teams either. You know, they've beaten Semperfy, Mind Freak, Vantage, House Bets, Take Your Pick, Brewster. The only team they haven't beat on this map that you'd want to see them do it against is FlyQuest, really. But yeah. uh, in a lot of cases, they're not ending up having to play against FlyQuest. Although a win today would put them in a match against FlyQuest, and that would certainly be interesting. But conversation it's maybe also, for tomorrow. It's also difficult because FlyQuest is such a good Inferno team traditionally. Correct. Ooh, nice little isolation of Neo there. Texter just continues to deliver impact. Absolutely loving what I'm seeing from him. Little bit of a uh, skew if smoke that uh, creates an option, but Mind Freak is completely over rotated to B. Like, I'm not quite sure what they were going for here. They had a complete misread on this round, and this is a case where Banana, you've already seen it. Like, if I've seen it and I've identified the trend, Mind Freak need to be way more cottoned on to the fact that Banana is always on these aggressive lurks on the A side of the map. He's always sitting in puppets, and he loves to go for those peaks towards Valk. You know exactly what I'm talking about, Jordan. Like, we've seen him do this multiple times now and in this round this is like uh 
a uh, situation where like that contingency, that aggressive lurk just allows Art of War to walk into an empty site. He's been watching the Malta demos maybe a little bit too much. Something yeah, that Malta used to like Hong to Kong do. Hong Kong Malta. Hong Kong Malta. Yeah, same guy. Interesting. But Hong Kong. Is that like the city in in Malta? Hong Kong Malta. <laughs> well, five to two, and honestly, you would be forgiven for thinking that this should be a better scoreline for Mind Freak, given the way that this game started at the one-one scoreline. You know, you freeze frame that, you go, okay. I mean, think about it. Like, you were even kind of saying, oh, you know, maybe there's a world where this is as good of a start for Mind Freak that they have a chance to start thinking about maybe winning this map and finally taking it away from Art of War. But instantly, Art of War's like, no, bitch. This is our map. No. Five and two. Money's starting to build up now for Art of War. The save gives a fair bit of money to Mind Freak. Pain hitting the leg shot, but that's not going to slow Art of War down. They're straight up, racking gum. Panic stations dropping the Molotov, trying to zone them back, stop them coming up dig side. Pain now on the off angle, trying to play that side box under a lot of pressure, straight through the flash from Gump. He's able to actually find a pick there, and the rest of Mind Freak are making their way back into the site. It's a quick shutdown. It's not like Art of War had a little bit of a timing there, but that has completely been swatted away. There's a charm. I think that might be the first charm I've seen on a, on a gun. That I've actually noticed. Yeah, I've seen a couple, one or two here and there. Damn, yeah, on charm position. I didn't watch your video from yesterday, Jordan. Yeah, you should have watched it because you would have seen the thing on the Galil, which, by the way, uh, one of my viewers did tell me it is called a charging handle. Is that even the same round? Tux was alive in the round. I'm so confused. Time out for Mind Freak. They know they've got a chance at an economic reset here. That was a beautiful shutdown of that A site play from Art of War. Really good defense. Pain finally hitting a couple up. And now we've gotten into double orb territory. And this is something that Mind Freak, you know, there's not many teams, not even FlyQuest. When I see FlyQuest pick up a double orb, I'm like, I'm not that confident, you know? But right. Mind Freak is one of the teams that I see Mind Freak pick up a double up. I'm like, all right, here we go. Even on Inferno as well, it shows you how confident they are in a double orb that they're willing to pick it up on this map of all maps. I suppose, kind of thinking, well, Art of War, they're, they're doing a lot of damage to us. So maybe let's try and shake things up a little bit. Yeah, we got through that last round, but see how things go with the double orb and don't necessarily disagree with the mentality. See if it bears any fruit. One on dig side, one towards banana. Another slow start here for Art of War, which may play into the double orbs. So you're going to be given plenty of opportunities to get some picks in a slower round. Really, that's dependent though on how on point Art of War's util usage is. Waiting out the CT util. Flash going up over the top. They just heard the Molotov. Bottom banana, but they still go up through it. Ricky, they're getting caught blind Whoa. for a second, but the timing is not good. Terry with a huge white sweep going to find that opener. Yeah, well, that's one warp out of the picture, and now Tux is going to opt to play close behind that smoke. It won't properly be checked. Nero's kind of having a look, but I don't think he spotted Tux. Tux is there as well. It's that high-low setup on B. Issue is... It looked like a good setup for Mind Freak, but they're not going to get to use it because another player fell over toward A. That was Pain going down. Both orbs having no success, and now Mind Freak are in a real sticky situation, and Tux should 100% be dead right now, which he is. Somehow, Art of War have navigated their way through that round, and they have more or less just rock, paper, scissors, Mind Freak in every single instance. Okay, Oath just missed times there onto Gump, but other than that, everything went the way of Art of War, and... That'll be 6-3 for Art of War, no doubt about it. They honestly play Inferno like a, a better team than you would expect. Like, the active lurks find so much impact for Art of War. Like, you have one over towards Banana, a bit more of a passive lurk, but the active lurk could all say, this time it's Oath to find a pick over on the A side of the map. Like, they are always finding value elsewhere where the pack isn't. These individual players just so comfortable. Finding those opportunities and taking advantage of them. 
Orb dropped by Gump. Position spotted by Terry. He's going to drop a nade into Pit. Spam through Terry truck. Win. He's going to get it done. Three alive for Art of War. And yeah, there's no excuses here for Mind Freak. You know, they should be able to put together a good CT side with the start that they've had, but they are still kind of getting smacked. That timeout as well from Art of War. Up 6 3. They got some soft reset potential here. 2.9 for Mind Free. So uh, a round win here would set you up for an 8 3 if you're able to deal with the uh, pistols and armor. to see Art of War play Inferno against uh, FlyQuest. Yeah. Honestly. I, I think... What if FlyQuest you'll have your chance. it though? Nah, no way. You don't think no so? No way. FlyQuest will happily play it. Yeah, I know. It would be funny to me though. Uh, FlyQuest has never been the kind of team that doesn't respect man anyway. Oh, what a nade stack! Hold on, Ricky's banged one through the smoke as well. This could be a round for Mind Freak after the pause a change up trying to do some more chip damage maybe blow open the smoke and find ricky but after how well that started for mind freak they're just going to fall back into a bit of a safer setup here can't Cuts be a well back towards main and, and grab the smoke they want to maybe refresh that bottom nana smoke but mm. audible is going to try and bust through it definitely don't want to throw away a round like this one this is a big opportunity for mind freak to get their half back in order and maybe even grab a 6-6 six, six. i've been able to get the boost don't think Art of War would have heard that that little mishap from Tux, so still gonna have to check it. But nice little bit of nade damage. He's holding a nade, a flash. It's not gonna matter. It does come through, and that is actually the B site, more or less taken by Art of War, mm. which kind of throws a bit of a spanner in this round actually for Mine Feet. They're gonna have to make a retake happen. Banana gets a little bit too big for his boots, and Ricky will punish him for it. Now it's a two on four post plant, which looks a lot more agreeable to Mind Freak than what a three on four might. And it seems as though they might just get through this oh, one. Oh, oh no! Oh, he just needed one clean shot there onto Ricky, and it was for sure on. Unfortunately, not for Art of War. So close, so close. Stuff from Mind Freak though. Converting after the 5 on 3, although Art of War definitely made them work for it. Really good starts in the round. Great pull from Mind Freak out of the tack walls. That does go down for Art of War. What kind of money have they got coming into this one? Their money seems like it should be pretty all over the place, and it is. They're going to even that up by half buying on some of the boys. Terry's going to turn it on with the Hero AK. Let's see what he can get done with that pace towards B. Three players here on the CT side. HE's being exchanged back and forth. A lot of damage onto Ricky here. Paint already posted up onto the line and they're running into a big crossfire, but he's starting to break through now with Tux alive in the back of sides, but Wait, what? he's just held on long enough. Went dead for the Molotov and Banana going a little bit too far oh. forward. They're trying to beat that rotation timing. Terry's swift on the bomb here though, Jordan. He's going to sneak his way back into Banana. And he's got a very well-placed charm on the AK. That's a big point that you would love to dive more into depth here, Jordan. I would love to see charms on knives. Can you imagine a charm on the tip of the butterfly knife? Flipping around. That'd be cool. Anyway, he's going to get the bomb plants down. Molotov behind him. Kind of cutting off his exit. Gump also just sort of jiggle peeking that angle to see if he can maybe spot him. Maybe stop him from exiting. And it seems like that was very much achieved by Gump. Nowhere for Terry to go. Guns chained in his direction, and Mind Freak on their way to securing a sixth, which, look, I don't even know what to make of this half. Is that a good half for Mind Freak? Is that a bad half for Mind Freak? I think you could make an yeah, argument one way or the other, but yeah, if they get 6-6, six, six, then game on. Yeah. I mean, you're still backing Art of War. They're just so good. 
um, on this map. Last round of the half here with the bomb plant. Art of War being able to put together a pretty good buy here. Only Viridian having to forego a little bit of util. Hope still there for paint. Be the progression smoke up into banana here. Molly to deny the fucking car. She does a little chip damage to Neo. He's gonna creep up to half four here. It could be a uh, flash timing. But uh, Terry doesn't have one. So it'll have to be Viridian actually coming up T stairs and, and flashing them in on half wall. Or they're gonna go for a tower boost. Flash over the top here. Does help Ricky out. Forces Viridian back. Ends up being a one for one there in Sandbags. Is doing a decent chunk to Viridian and Terry. It might actually just be the call to go back over towards A here for Art of War. I mean, they've taken a fair bit of space on brackets. Banana has been able to force his way forward. He always gets so much space up here. I'm really surprised Mind Freak don't do a better job crunching him half the time. This is all looking for him. Able to find him. Not traded quite fast enough from Oath there. So Art of War, a player down now. Ooh. Damn, Dexter. Hmm. It's having a day. Been, man. What do you mean, where have you been? I feel like this is every On game vacation. at this point. No, I mean a few for a few years. For yeah, a few right. years. There's definitely an alternate reality where Texas is on FlyQuest, no? I mean, had he not had the VAC, I think, honestly, the alternate reality is it might have been like... Tux on FlyQuest at one point. I think I think there was definitely a world where earlier on uh, he would have gotten the call up to Greyhound, you know, maybe over like I don't know, like a a Malta or an Inn or something like that at the time. Because if you remember, you know, the general consensus was like Tux was that guy. He was like that new up and comer. Yeah. So alternative timeline could have been very different but we're not there we're in the timeline where it's going to end up being 6-6 at the end of the half because mind freak have been able to secure the two on two retake on b and that's nice i like that i think i think i'm happy that we've got a 6-6 here because it's been a pretty entertaining game of inferno so far and it uh, only gets more interesting when we head into the second half at a pretty close scoreline yeah, same veto. This series is starting to turn into a little bit of an Oceanic El Clasico. We've had a couple of them in our time. I didn't expect this to be turning into a little bit of a rivalry, but it's definitely been a pretty back and forth game of Inferno. However, Art of War, even at 6-6, you're expecting them to close this game out after the break. We'll find out.
back into the second half. Scoreline is 6-6. Six, six. And as we've been relatively accustomed to between the history of Art of War and Mind Freak, we are once again getting another pretty close game. It's been an interesting one. I'd say at the moment it kind of feels like the text to show a little bit. He's 15-6. and six. Uh, Whether or not Mind Freak are going to show up on this T side is now the big question mark. Can they maybe take this map away from Art of War, which is something they've failed to do in the last couple of occasions they've faced them. Rotations coming back across from Banana here. It's retake B from Art of War. They're going to have four players ready to defend this A side execute. A lot of util invested here for Mind Freak. One player in carpets. How will they approach this A side attack? They're going to first try to take a duel over towards jungle side. Great shot from Payne to start things off. And they start to go Whoa. in. Both just jumping at Ricky. Taking carpets control is really going to complicate things here. And my freak are just going to go around the world. Yeah, there's a good call to go B here. Certainly with the information that we've got, Neo is the only player towards B. And he's actually working his way down the... Uh, the only thing is that Mind Freak don't really know that, so it's quite important for Tux to get these kills. He's going to be hearing at least lots of information and relaying that over to the team that probably there's only one more player yet to find, and that'll be the B player. Neo unable to do anything as the bomb's going down in the smoke, and Tux has survived as well. He's going to wrap all the way around through CT spawn, allowed Art of War past him into the banana retake. Doesn't look good for Art of War right here. No defuse kit. So time of the essence, got to move quick and pain at the back of sight, taking contact with that P250. Unable to strike himself, but sets it up nicely for Texter, who's barely missing anything at this point. And Mind Freak claim the lead. Another great start to the half here. T-side pistol. Uh, first half did get the second round fourth, so really not complaining about this game of Inferno so far from Mind Freak. Out of war. Not going to buy up into this one, just purchasing a single flash. And uh, going to be going for that, you know, 4.5k kind of buy in round 15. It's rifles and light, you till. <laughs> Neo with the only flashes over to be by himself. Maybe they're going to make it look like it's some kind of banana stack with the flash and then try to force my freak into an A, a hit. But Mind Freak have taken so much space so easily on this B side that they're probably just going to hit here. Not sure what Neo's really going to do about it. Got a USB oh. and a flash. He's going to pull his team. But they're coming in. So, I tried my best, guys. He's gonna say, in. I'm going to I'm going to push the smoke, guys, and see what happens. What is well, the expected outcome there, really? Um... Is get there ever one. a world get where you're like, like you're maybe like, I could get catch them with half light running through the side of the smoke and you can double ping someone running. That's about the best outcome. And then you can get insta-traded. In an alternative universe, you know, the one where when you let the monkeys bash the keyboard and then they write the Shakespearean uh, poetry or whatever. But in that universe, maybe he goes through that, that smoke and gets all five. Right? Like it could happen. No, it couldn't. No, it could. It is possible. It is theoretically possible. In if if you replay that round a hundred billion times, in nah, one of those up. rounds, does he get five? No. Nah. So you're saying there's a zero percent chance. Jordan, I'm usually a pretty big fan of the fantasies you describe to me, but in this case, I'm not buying it. Yeah, but we'll leave uh, those ones for after the broadcast. You gotta watch our special content. Yeah, maybe to know those kinds of fantasies. Of hotel room podcasts next yep. event. Uh, but that's gonna be the Patreon edition. Uh, big anti eco for Mind Freak. Lot of Mac 10 kills, and they've retained those Mac 10s heading into round 15 here. Full head armor approach from Art of War. They do not want to be getting gooshed by Mac 10s and Galils. I mean, they know how dangerous that can be. Neo molly gonna flash him out as well. It's actually banana going down and Neo taking a lot of damage. This B site quite weak. Right for the taking if Mind Freak won it. Yeah, head armor's not gonna help him there. Here comes the hit onto B. So Neo cannot see a damn thing. And gives away his position, so. 18 and 6, bro. He's destroying them. Yep. Texture is locked in today. 
He wants to deny us the Art of War versus FlyQuest Inferno matchup. Have Mindfreak played FlyQuest yet? Mindfreak? I mean, in the regular season they would have, right? Yeah. Wow. Well, that's the opposite of turning it on. Just handing an M4 and giving a MAC-10 kill. This is... I mean, bro, again, this is the best start to the T side for Mindfreak, no? M4's yep. picked up. Three M4's picked up. Uh, upgrading uh, MAC-10 and a Galil. And another MAC-10. And now Tux is kind of on the hunt here, looking for another rifle. Viridian mm. playing the off angle here. Really steps. Oh, he's got Tux. They're hunting him. Gump's taking him. That's every gun hitting the deck for Art of War. Oh no, Gump, you've picked up a Mac 10 at the end of the round. It was going so well. It's alright, he knew they're gonna be on eco. It was a galaxy brain strategy. I'm and pretty sure M4's better against Eco. Well, now that I think about it, um I'm pretty sure Mindfreak actually haven't played against FlyQuest in ESL Challenge League, because there was one week that FlyQuest forfeited, and that happened to be the week that Mindfreak was scheduled to play against them. Interesting. Um, Jordan. Yes, sir. I think Mindfreak's going to win this game of Inferno. Well, you said that once. You've doubled down now. It would look a little bit silly if you were wrong. Uh, the only thing that's silly would be predicting Art of War to win this big matchup, but... I guess so. I don't know who would do that. Well, we'll see. Dex is playing like this. No, I think uh, I'm picking up what you're putting down. This is looking pretty good for Mind Freak. They should be going up 10 to 6 here. And doing it with quite a nice economy to boot. So this is where we're really going to get to test the uh, strength of Art of War on this map. Maybe they've played it one too many times against Mind Freak and they've been figured out. Yeah. I mean, you can definitely get way too stale with the veto. Sometimes. Alright. Bananas disconnected. So we're going to wait for him to come back. As far as, uh, you know, back in the old days, it doesn't happen as much, but, you know, uh, do you know about the suspicious disconnect? You know? The suspicious disconnect. Yeah, you, 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 you're losing a game pretty hard and then you yeah. DC and reconnect. You kick and out even your if you're, network cord. Even if you're not, um, no, no, not even kicking out your network cord. Just like, you know, restarting your game with maybe some assistance, perhaps. Um, right. And the whole idea is like, even if you have no assistance, no external assistance, just the act of reconnecting can be a little bit of a like getting and then starting to play very very well can can get in the head of the opponent sometimes he's turned not on. really something that applies anymore he's turned something on it's you know that's all i'm gonna say the monitor yeah he's turned his monitor on plugged his other monitor in reconnected now he's a he's a gamer he's got the seven thousand hertz Lock don't worry guys in. only costs three grand Gonna need to beat. Nice leg onto Ricky. Brudian already hitting the opening shot of this round, but not getting an opening pick for Art of War just yet. Mind Freak denying info over towards B. It's the progression smoke. Molotov up into Cubby. It's the lurk smoke onto Jungle side. It's a nice shot from Brudian. Going to be needing a little bit more of that if this CT side is going to be putting together. Yeah, Mindfreak's kind of in no man's land right now. They're just sitting in bracket. Whole bunch of YouTube there. Finally, the Lurk Smoke goes down. Neo aggressing over on Dig side. Catches them off guard a little. Terry, seeing multiple players swinging up jungle side. Doesn't need to overextend. He's got big rotations coming in. Now just about damage. If Gump and Pain can get a little bit more done and keep the Art of War economy low, then that'll be a good start. We can build off of that. Oh, it was close for Gump. Almost getting two. Quite a decent trade in there from Pain, and he should be able to get the bomb plant down as long as this smoke does persist. He's going to give it a crack. That will give Banana some time to push his way forward, and Pain wasn't expecting it. Right, Art of War will get themselves to seventh, but... 
Only a couple of guns alive, so it doesn't do a whole lot for the economy. Okay. 13 grand for pain, 11 for Ricky and Gump. It's going to take a little while to uh, crack down on this T-side economy. And by then, um, the loss bonus will start to kick in. So it's going to be a very difficult game for Art of War to be winning and closing. And if they're only surviving with two players and reducing their loss bonus, then there's a very re real reset potential on the horizon here for Mind Freak. See if they can take advantage of it. Pretty good across the board performance from everyone on Mind Freak today. Dexter definitely the standout. Oh, post down middle. Breeding gonna fall off the line there. This time Mind Freak grouping up towards this B side of the map early on. It's a little bit of a totem pole boost up above that progression smoke thrown by the T's. Will allow Mind Freak to get control of the front side of sight here. Still a lot of util on both Neo and Banana. Two full belts of it, and Viridian's bringing the AWP over as well. Yeah, this is looking like a pretty damn threatening hold, but Mind Freak are going to give it a crack anyway. Unfortunately for them, Dexter unable to find the entry under Neo. Thought they might almost call the cancel, but it seems like they're still hanging around. Waiting inside of that smoke, it's risky business. It's going to be a second wave of util in here from Mind Freak. They're still going to go, but the rotation's already in from Art of War. This would be an absolute miracle from Mind Freak if they got in here. And it's down to just Gump. Rotation's still yet to come from Oath. One on two on the site for the moment. He's got to pick that pace up and isolate some duels. It's not going to happen. Art of War, hold on. Yeah, a little bit of a lack of creativity from Mind Freak here. It really feels like they're trying to force things. Um, really death ball over towards one side of the map and that's where they're kind of getting picked apart by aggression and reactive utility from Art of War like you saw it over on Bracket's side and that time on B really just trying to force things into B um, you know contrast that to Art of War's T side with the active lurk always in play they're quite happy to rotate around the map to go towards contingency plans that's what's missing from Mind Freak here it really just doesn't feel like they have more layers to this T side. They have depth um, when things go wrong. You definitely don't want to be seeing them trying to run through a brick wall into the B side like that. That is honestly a little amateurish, I would say, for players of this caliber to try and break like a hold like that. They're kind of just think they're kind of hoping Art of War misplays and doesn't throw the right utility at the right time, or they're hitting a very sharp entry, which to be fair can happen, but like. I think it's pretty low percentage before trading down util in the early to mid round and trying to work the map a little bit more to just try and force B like that. Yeah. We'll see what they go back to. Any kind of a change up from Mind Freak would be pretty welcomed. There's going to be a mid Nana smoke. Pretty much of a progression up there from Mind Freak just yet. They have been greeted with a bottom banana smoke by Art of War. So, a bit of a handshake there in the banana for the moment. But some wasted util from Art of War. And Ricky just walking his way out onto Balcony. Catches Oath for free. This is the perfect opportunity to get around Mind Freak have been searching for for a little while. Molly down at the top of mid. It'll slow the progress for a moment, but not by too much. Again... It's a big rotation over from Art of War, really respecting the hit from Mind Freak. Techstar finding another open here, continuing the good work on the T side. Viridian trying to get into the site. All of the CTs are here, but they're not getting any kills. Kerry finally getting the first one from the hit side, but he's going to have to kill the whole damn team, and he just hasn't have enough bullets. 11 up for Mind Freak. Money a little shaky for Art of War here now. 3k for Kerry. Probably have to take a single save here and concede map point, or you're going to be playing a low util buy. They're going to go for it. Fast cannon orb comes out, and a couple of MP9s. Yeah, I suspect that was how Mind Freak was hoping their B hit was going to go as well. I mean, the difference was they found that their entry onto the pit site anchor like five seconds into the round, and then they just have some really good positioning and timing and Art of War doesn't have good enough reactive utility and doesn't find good timings, you know, to be able to disrupt that. That's the, really the difference maker. When it's a bit more of an equal scenario, equal numbers, Art of War has a bit better position, then they're usually able to hold those. 
But in that round, not the case. Lost that first pick courtesy of Ricky just walking up, Carps. And in this round, I mean, they just don't have the same level of utility. Like, for example, this round would be a much better uh, situation to go for that kind of approach a lot of the time. Because you're not going to run into a wall of util. The CTs just don't have money for it. Speaking of, some of that util starting to dwindle for Art of War now. Mm. Only two smokes remaining, one molly, as far as the delaying util is concerned. Yeah. Both of those used on Carps and the B main choke. With 44 seconds on the clock, Art of War have no util to play with. And honestly, I love the jungle wrap here for Mind Freak, but there's a lot of players here. Getting up onto the line, it's just a dry peak from Pain. That's an instant punish. Now the util comes out from Mind Freak. But they've already lost a player, and time is starting to get away from them. 20 seconds left. Texas trying to work his way up Arch side, and he does get inside of that smoke. So there's a bit of a window, maybe, where he could get across. The MP9 from Balcony is not really going to help out too much. Can't even get plan. The bomb. Yeah, it's impossible at this point. So that's round over. Counter what a weird round. Yeah. Again, oh. it, it kind of feels like sometimes you get to those late round situations and Mind Freak kind of freeze and they're like, oh, what do we do? Well, do you remember that round where they just like saved with five players alive? Yeah, yeah, that? yeah. Were you casting that with me? Like, I do. It, it, it is a bit weird. Like the T side calling, it feels a little bit lacking sometimes on Mind Freak. And I'm, you know, I hate to be super critical because I like all of these players, but for players of this experience level, like that should not really be happening. That's the kind of thing that you see from like tier two teams that don't have the amount of land and even overseas experience that players on my freak have. Like, they should always be able to find these mid to late round plans. Uh, I just don't really know what's going on in the my freak system right now. What I will say though is, despite that round getting a little confused and the, the jungle wrap timing not really working, I think Pain the dry peak is punished quite heavily there. Worth mentioning. Um, they have brought it down to only one player surviving, and it's 1900 loss bonus here for Art of War. So if Mind Freak wins this gun round right here, they will reset Art of War and potentially win the game. If they lose it, though, I think Art of War can probably go 11 11 here. The money is shaky for both teams. This is a very important swing round that could decide the game. Decide the series, honestly. Mind Freak knowing that they've got Nuke sure. up next. Yeah, I, I totally agree. This is. This, this round really could be the difference between a 2-0 and a 3 map up. Both teams quite tentative about how they approach it. A little bit more util here for Art of War, Terry. Quite aggressive over here on Boiler's side. Tux has made his way quite deep up Banana, listening for info on half or bomb retreat by Texter. Mind Freak gonna start making some moves over towards this A side now. Oh, in the meanwhile, Banana Pushing his way down Banana, which is where Tux is waiting for wow. him. Great flash. That I might just give the game away. Yeah, and then the smoke into carpets. Like the, the util, the, the molly on dig, a flash up onto dig. Like they find the opening pick with perfect util usage. And now they're just stalling for a four-man rotation. This is beautiful. Mind Freak this time though. They're not just hard committing to the site they were stacked towards. They're actually going to go back towards B, but Banana has got a smoke to play with, a flash to play with, and Neo with a flash on the rotation could be thrown up above new box and be kind of round defining here. Mm, brackets has also been cleared out there by Terry, so information for Art of War, and they are well on their way over toward B. On Molly as well, for Viridian on the rotation. This can't go well for Mind Freak, surely. The flash, though, is a good one, and Neo's caught out in no man's land, somehow surviving long enough to get first oranges. Still, trade's coming through. Maybe not quickly enough there for Art of War to deny the bomb plant here. Ricky's going to try and get it down, but it's an absolute mess. Can't actually get it on the floor. And Viridian's been team killed by Terry, but Payne will be trying now to survive at the back of sight with the AWP in hand. And he'll go oh. down after time, which means he's got $100 to his name. Oh, bro. Uh, it's so brutal as well. Well, the dink on the MP9 from Oath over on Coffin side and a whip alt shot from Pain. Oh, that is nightmare fuel for Mind Freak. This game, that beautiful starts to both halves. They had the game potentially on a silver platter for themselves, but 
running out of time in multiple rounds here. I don't know what's going on right now on the T side here for Mind Freak. And you've seen it in a couple of games. It hasn't just been this game. Saw a similar kind of looks in the Extreme Slam qualifiers, you know. Save here for Mind Freak, except for a hero AK on Ricky hit. Well, hasn't come into play just yet. At least he tucks down early on in the piece. Ricky's gonna have to find a way to do something. Get this round competitive for Mind Freak, otherwise, yeah, as you predicted, we're gonna go to 11 11. This is kind of just a bit wild for Mind Freak, really taking the peaks on their own and. Yeah, Tex has been able to take Neo's head off. Viridian's also having a bit of a look on that angle. Nana coming across as well, but he's going to have to be the line of defense that does not break. Ooh. It will eventually fall. Ricky with that AK looking healthy and pain as well. Ricky will creep his Ooh. way into library, and that was unexpected by Terry. Out of War now have no idea where Mind Freak are going. Are they going back to A? Are they going B? Well, we don't know until someone takes contact and Mind Freak just slow it down. Viridian, he's cleared B though. Oath just going to tuck himself into pit. Both of them playing the bomb plant. Ricky, 3 HP, pain with no armor. So aim punch is going to be a pretty big issue, especially against an MP9. Could definitely shred that armorless player. My freak need a clean shot. Creeping out over onto Moto side. Viridian making his way back towards mid. He's got a good read here. Shot starting to ring out now. 10 seconds and Mind Freak have made it into the site and we'll get the plant. No retake util at all for Art of War. So you can't dislodge Mind Freak with a Molly or a Nade or anything like that. It's just going to come down to the duels. Ricky, low on HP, will fall early in pain. They knew he couldn't get off the site. So that's a pretty routine trade in the end for Oath, who's gotten a lot of work done with that MP9 and does that's... at least secure the 11-11. Very expensive, though. Very expensive. Bomb plant comes out for Mind Freak, which gives pain 3.4. He can get Galil now. 11 apiece. 1,400 loss bonus for Art of War with one way of surviving. This could be, again, another hard reset window, Jordan, for Mind Freak. They can just win a bloody T-side gun round. They can break the money and win this game of Inferno. Big round ahead for Mind Freak. They've been teetering on the precipice of a result like this for a little while. They've been trying their best. But so far, a win against Art of War on Inferno has been elusive. Could today be the day that breaks that? They stack onto Tux. That's a little bit of damage. Very slow start to the round. Again. Art of War bringing a couple of MP9s into it. One of them over on B and one in that pit position, which means you're pretty much glued to Balcony here as Oath. Um, taking duels with the MP9 and anywhere else is probably not going to be that effective. Ricky's once again crept all the way towards the end of apartments, and it's a very passive setup for Art of War. They're holding a lot of util as well. Look at this, a minute on the clock, and Art of War still have so many grenades here, man, especially on B. You can't get into B here as Mind Freak unless Art of War makes a pretty big mistake. Starting to see those same problems creep up. Mind Freak late in rounds. Might be having some trouble here. They will at least force out a Molotov. Uh, still two players set up nicely on B. No, he's still got himself an incend. They're running out of time again, man. I'm getting nervous. Yep. Same old, same old, really, from Mind Freak, isn't it? But this time they're going to try and go back over to A. There's three players there. Bit of damage already been done to Oath. Flash over the top. Ricky. Unable to find the open. It is Gump to bring one back for Mind Freak. Bomb is headed towards B. They're trying to make something wild happen in this round, and it's just not. It's just falling apart. Are they getting a little bit too tricky for themselves? Well, this is the duel that needs to be won. Texter has to find this kill. He's got nine seconds to do it. You've got to run at him at this point, and he doesn't oh. win it. That is the round over. Art of War will win it. And Mind Freak, you've got to look at this T side and think, what is going on? Again. Oh, bro. $400 What is going on? They are broke. 2.9 loss bonus. They're down to Khalil's and armor, if that. And, you know, check nines. Gump can't even buy himself any bloody armor. 
unbelievable. And yeah. That's, that's, that's kind of round thing. You just look at it, it's like, what is going on for Mind Freak? We gotta get some mid to late round T side gun round endings. Like, where are the endings to these rounds? We need better patterns in the mid round where you're working on the map like the best teams do, you know? You need to be able to work that. Rackets control, trade you till down on banana, and put yourself in a position in the round where you actually have a, a passage of play to end the round because Art of War is being so greedy with their utility and they're not being punished at all. I don't know. I, I kind of get the feeling that it's like they're doing it on the fly almost, you know? Like they're not sure what the plan is. And then it's like 30 seconds left in the round and they're like, okay, we've got to do something. And then it just, kind of falls apart. These rounds just look way too disorganized for a team at this level. Mm. And this experience as well. Like, anyway, smoke's going out of the map for the T side. So there, there's going to be no progression smoke to kind of limit the info over towards B. Banana's taken all of that space and all of that info. That's going to allow Neo to lean over into Speedway. It's the uh, smoke up onto jungle side. Obscuring the vision of the CTs, but there's already four players on this A side to defend the execute. Well, they just gotta hit it, and they gotta hit it hard here, Mind Freak. Oh, somehow surviving! I don't know how he's alive. But I think Art of War might have just swindled Mind Freak for map one. Ricky trying his best alongside Gump, but they still haven't dealt with the player in pit. Oath is still alive. Finally gets chased down by Ricky. Rotation is coming through, but it is a two-on-two, -two, and here's time available for Mind Freak. They're going to double swing into Dig, have a look there. The trouble is they've got to get the bomb across, and unfortunately for Gump, he's caught out in no man's land. So it's on to Ricky to try to be the hero here and keep this map alive, push it into OT. Spotted out. Should just be a double peek from the CT side. They're giving him a lot of respect. Creeping up onto Graveyard side. There's the double peak. Oh, he's made it across to the stairs. There was a little bit of a lineup, but Art of War is going to win it. And I think Swindled is the perfect way to put it, Jordan. Mind Freak, perfect start to the CT side. Won the T pistol, got off to such a good start again. But they're still just unable to close this game. And there were so many rounds where they had reset potential, where they had the ability to win this game of Inferno, and they have really let it slip through there. Probably need to be doing to sort of just pick something up somewhere. Um, I would think it should be a pretty easy fix, but uh, obviously it hasn't been changed up all that much in the last couple of Infernos that we've watched between these two, but that's by the by now as we are going to head into Nuke, and it's a bit of a different story as we head on to this one, because obviously a very, very good map for Mind Freak. They've won it every time they've played against Art of War. And assuming that does not change tonight, we'll be going to map three and seeing Ancient again between these two. Yep. So my freak, no strangers to starting things off on the T side here. Gonna blow open the door. Nice little two man stack. Three players out door, two dropping into Annex. Instant one tap onto Terry. Banana hitting the deck as well. No more Hong Kong players in the server for now. And uh my freak boys after another one for one on outside i think these are uh, straight into lowers with no contest from art of war viridian and neo completely out of position now and without much of a hope to make anything happen in this round other than maybe finding some exits yeah definitely looking to sort of come into this map pretty strong mind freak which is no doubt uh something that they've had a bit of a chat about I'd be probably pretty disappointed with how things played out there on inferno felt like it was their map to lose but could still be their series. That's a nice shot from Viridian. Every kill here does actually matter. You know, a little bit of extra oh. money in the back pocket for the Orpa is not going to be something that you'll be too mad about. He won't be able to win the round, but he might be able to get four. Ends up with just the three, but uh, hey, you can already see what that's done for his economic position. 2.9k is a little better than the rest of the lads, so it could yeah, be worse I mean, for Viridian. That... Like you said, could be an AWP in round three, or could be a hero M4 dropped over to one of the other boys in a full spy scenario, and maybe someone gives him a scout, for example. Um, that could probably be something that could work. Looks like Art of War not opting for full spy here, even on a map where it can be a little bit more favorable. So, we'll be saving into round three here. My freak, yeah, very clean pistol from them. Worked out beautifully. And uh, that's going to be, as far as I'm concerned, the third half in a row where Mind Freak have had a good start here. You know, we had the uh, pistol round win. 
on the T side of Inferno. We had the round two win on CT side of Inferno to flip the economy and they started off very well. And then once again here, now going into an anti-eco, should have a, a pretty good start to this game of Nuke. That's what we're getting so far. One plant down on B. Gump may well get run down here. There's a lot of CTs that he's going to have to deal with. Then find a trade. That's some fancy footwork from Oath. He went sliding off of the balcony. Two kills. Nothing to get too excited about for Art of War. Uh, this is the first gun round, and Viridian, he did have the money for the orb, besides against it. Just gonna go for the rifle, but, uh, picks up a bit of extra util for all of his labors in that pistol round. Gonna be aware that the MAC-10s have been retained, which can add a little bit of different pace to this round here. A bit more, kind of, pigeonholed into what you can achieve with a MAC-10 on Nuke. Like, it's gotta be some kind of uppers play at some point in the round, maybe uh, a ramp rush. Early on, though, they're going to send Tux with the pace of the Mac 10 straight down secret. <laughs> a lot of damage onto Terry there, just spamming away. Predicting his position over towards Unbreakable is pretty oh. cheeky stuff, and that's where the Galil gets a pretty free one tap with that chip damage. Really nice stuff from Mind Freak. Yeah, just caught Terry in no man's land, really. He was sort of just floating around. But Ana's going to go down as well, so. You're immediately seeing a bit of a different brand of this matchup from map one to map two. Viridian wow. caught on a timing as well. It just cannot get any worse for Art of War, can it? Until that happens. I mean, just, I mean, put that round in the bin and forget about it. How many upgrades are we going to get, Tux? He's a, over a Manic side, so he can't find himself a rifle, but still, I mean, bonus round one for Mind Freak, the best po possible start to the T side of Nuke here. And yeah, Art of War, not looking good on Nuke yet again. I mean, I'm hoping there's going to be a bit of a pushback where we had a pretty competitive game of Inferno because Mind Freak was stepping up so strongly in this series so far. So I'm hoping it's not going to be a, a foregone conclusion because at some point when Inferno and Nuke go that way and it's time to start to get a little bit bored, push comes out from the five sevens. It's a full lobby crunch actually. Kills go the way of Art of War, but Meridian and Oath punish, pushing things a little further and coming down from Lobby Room. Heard by Banana. Swing comes in from Pain, and the aim punch is good for it. Four up for Mind Freak. Three players surviving. Yeah, it's looking pretty routine so far from Mind Freak. Just going through the motions. Art of War not putting up much of a defense. Change up in the buy this time around, though. Viridian's going to go toward the orb. See if he ends up on outer. Payne's also got himself an orb. <laughs> Hasn't been a great start for Art of War, but it is still a salvageable half. Slotted on the outside, so confirming that CTs will have one. Once again, Tux with the Wall of Smokes applying pressure to outside. Trying to keep Art of War guessing about what Mind Freak's intentions are. Mind Freak looking to go for a set play towards ramp. There's a Viridian over here on that elbow line. But the rest of the CTs have actually headed back towards upper. More leaning towards ladder base. Banana keeping an eye on lowers because that wall of smoke means that T's have been able to cross the secret at some point in the round. But after not going for this ramp contact, Mind Freak making their way back towards spawn side. They've only got two smokes to try to cross outside here, if that's what they want to be going for. Tux is still in secret. They've left Gump on the lurk in lobby. There's the waterfall smoke to Annex. And the smoke to Windows. Terry wants info. And he might die for it. Indeed he does. Ricky just able to win that duel. It was M4 versus M4, so very winnable for Terry. Really missing the shot with the orb. Further compounding the issues here for Art of War as they slowly but surely get encircled by Mind Freak and lose their map control as the seconds tick by. But 20 seconds left for Mind Freak. They've got to hit this site late. Things could still go wrong. Viridian, nice shot on to Tux. Will be falling to Texter, but the trade is in. And now it's a bit of a mess on the site. Oath has 
DC'd, lagged. I don't know what happened there, but he finally got the info. I think he might have been lagging. Possibly. That looked very jerky. Yeah, Art of War's gonna get their first CT gun round regardless though. Two players surviving. Mindfreak with plenty of money to be able to reinvest though. Uh, maybe, maybe he just didn't get the memo that there was two players down lower and he thought that there was someone still coming from up. I'm not sure, but deals with it effectively. So first one on the board for Art of War. Now they've got to put a couple together. That's not going to help my freak that flash, but he's still on the roof. He's got the bomb as well. If Terry catches him here, this could be awkward. But Terry having real trouble. No one's catching Ricky right now. We were seeing Texas praises in the first map. Ricky was playing pretty well, and now he's 10 and 2 on T side nuke. And is taking over the game. Into a 4 on 4, though. Big lobby crunch coming in from Art of War. Two players creeping up radio. You've got Neo through Hut and CT Vent here for Banana. Text up. Could get isolated here or could come up huge. But in the meanwhile, Mind Freak have all crept down through Secret Oath. Mm. Rotating through Megaton has made it across to the site in time, and Viridian's there hand in hand with him. Well, this is just a case of timings, really, isn't it? On every side, Viridian's has to go past the window. Now he'll recheck it. Almost looked like a good duel. Very much was. But Tuck survives on two. And now Banana needs to win the duel against Texter, which he will at least be able to lock in. The question will be, can Main Freak dig Oath out without losing too much? They weren't expecting him there, and Oath gets himself a double, which... Puts it squarely in the favor of Art of War. Unfortunately for Ricky, he gave away the bomb earlier on in the round and now has to go and recollect it, which will cost him some crucial time. Still has 30 seconds left, but Neo will back his way up the ramp. He's not interested in taking the 1v1 against Ricky, and you can't blame him for that right now. Picks up a molly. 18 seconds, gonna swing the doors open, spotting out Banana. He knows where these last two players were. Gonna try to cross to Decon. 12 what? seconds. What? Is that even enough time to make it to the upper site? Eight, seven, six. No! He's oh, made it up the vent. I think he might have had it. But he's just missed it by a half second timing. Banana would have secured it no matter what. The field was, though. Even if he plants front site there, mm. um, Banana would have come up the vent and killed him. So, I think he, not I quite think enough he... timing there, but I, yeah. I think Ricky's still doing a lot of damage to that CT economy. It's quite relevant. Yeah, at the end of the day, he's taken away two guns, so I think you can at least take something out of that situation. And Art of War, don't take any guns through to the next round. This was really nice from Oath. Just a nice little change up in position. He's had a couple of good multi frags so far this game. Alright, Mind Freak finally out of money. So is Art of War into a pretty big swing round here. Once again, wall of smoke across the outside. You've seen this every round from Mind Freak so far, but this time, instead of a 4-1, it's gonna be a 1-4. The majority of these players on outside, even Gumps on silo, not a single player inside lobby. They're creeping out onto the line, actively looking for duels against the CTs. Off angle from Terry. Flash goes into Annex, actually catches him off guard. That master Help. footsteps inside warehouse, but he's still able to react well enough to kill Tux. Dexter trading it. So they know there's a lot of T's on outside here. Yeah. Terry's very lucky to have gotten away with uh, a kill there, though. I mean, his timing is looking not quite on at the moment. Out of position, which is quite crucial on Nuke. Ricky down to 11 HP, has copped a bink. And flash for text up. Oh, that is picturesque from Mind Freak. Absolutely perfect util usage. Oh, Banana. He'll be kicking himself for missing that one. He wants to go for a little bit more. It would be a mistake. Now he's getting you killed out. And eventually loses his life to Ricky, which was the player that he should have picked up for free. Round's kind of fallen by the wayside for Art of War. And with that, again, the control of the half is very much going to swing in the favor of Mind Freak. Yeah, this is going to be a pretty hard economic reset. Plant down onto lower. M4 picked up by Viridian. You're just going to try to save two rifles here as Art of War. That's the best possible outcome at this point in the round. 14-2 for Ricky. It's interesting for Mind Freak. Like, you seem to get the big performances from 
the players that are coming back, you know, rather mm -hmm. than the up and comers. Like usually the traditional layer of a team like this is you get the veteran players playing more supportive roles and not really, you know, playing the, the fragging roles, but both Ricky and Texter have had some really big games in a lot of the series I've seen from Mindfreak so far. Fuck's obviously doing the majority of the IGL duties. You've seen some big rounds from Gump and some good clutches, and Pain when he's on with the AWP has been good, but tonight he really has not been super great, to be honest. I don't think we've seen any big highlights from Pain. I think no. his best moment was holding the A site on Inferno one or two rounds. But we've even seen some pretty questionable decisions, like getting picked from free on jungle for free on jungle side on Inferno. Yeah, attack timeout being used here for Art of War, trying to have a bit of a chat about what they want to do here. They've got 2.9k loss bonus, so you don't really want to be going any lower than about 2k in terms of your investment. If even that, I saw Banana invested in a 5.7. He's now since sold it. Neo's holding on to one. They're thinking about whether or not they want to put any more behind these two saved weapons. Terry's going to be given the M4. Meridian will roll out with just the USP. But he does have a flash. Let's see if uh, Oath and Terry can maybe make something happen with these two saved rifles. It's not looking too good for Art of War if they aren't, aren't able to do so. Full blind, isolated, oh, spamming through the... Oh, he's actually got that killing lobby. Terry's the one spamming through the attic smoke. Brilliant's got armor here. Banana going down, gets glocked by Ricky. This man's got plot armor right now, 16 and 2. Even in some <laughs> scenarios, you'd swear he should go down. He's still coming up the goods. That's off angle from Terry. I'll learn him an AK, and Brilliant can actually try and go and retrieve that M4. So some guns on offer here for Art of War to try and min-max the economy game. Actually, that Annex smoke is going to help him get his hands on the M4 here. But they're still getting pounded 6-2. and two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not uh, super convinced about Art of War at this stage on Nuke. It's definitely looking like a 3 map up. do tend to play a little better on their CT side as well than what they do on their T side. Yeah, oops, out for Viridian again here. Oh, wall of smoke across the outside. Nux is over here. This time, a bit more commitment to Side. Orbs over here, you got Terry under silo, so very much looking to try to find a kill here. Tux is sticking around, and the rest of Mind Freak going to make their way over to outside as well here, so this fight on outside could potentially be around defining. You've got to be winning this round if you're out of war. Keep yourself in the conversation, otherwise Mind Freak going to run away with things, and Tux has spotted out Terry. That's a perfect time for Viridian to be peeking. He gets the freebie on to pay. Ends up actually being the trade for Terry. But so far, so good for Art of War. Now Viridian does need a bit of help, and I don't think he's going to get it based on the position of these Art of War players. Banana's sort of lurking around. Yeah, ramp control has now been lost, and Viridian goes down as well as Banana. They just get a bit too antsy on outer, and Mind Freak, the patience is rewarded. Oh, yeah, text up. Getting that kill onto Neo Heaven. Actually, if the bomb gets dropped, that could be a winnable scenario for Neo. Knowing that Gump was in ramp room, he could reposition well enough to win that round. But Mind Freak, I think Gump picking the ramp player there is what forces the CTs to actually be active rather than being able to sit in their positions. Because the longer the round goes on, the more annoying positions that Gump could get in. And Mind Freak can't sound, could have just fallen back to lobby and gotten themselves into lobbies after plants. So, really important kill there for Gump to tip the scales. Another buy here for Art of War though, maxing out the boss bonus. A little bit of extra cash in the bank. Allows them to go for it. Oh, come unbelievable. Through the fire there. Just a little bit too much effect detail. 
uh, being the difference maker. I'm not sure if that's still a thing in CS2, but uh, at least in CSGO, when you were close to the Molotov, you had better vision on the player further away from it. So if that is still the case, that pick with the 8K is a perfect example of abusing that mechanic. Yeah, um, this is looking kind of over on Nuke. I'm getting a bit ahead of myself, but... It's definitely not looking good for Art of War. They do pick up a couple of freebies onto Gump and Ricky, which maybe gives them a bit of a chance in this round. That's some good damage out from Oath. Painted is still stuck on out and out alone. Lots of noise being made by Mindfreak going down into that B bomb site. Oath is already there, so I mean, maybe Art of War actually find a way to swindle this round. I'm not sure how that's kind of happened. Texter could still clutch it out, but then Oath just kills him through the smoke. Fair enough. That's a wonky looking round, but I guess Art of War will take what they can get at this point. If Caster cursed it pretty hard there, <laughs> I'm not that gonna lie. That was a round of all time. Yeah, I mean, it should have been a round for Mind Freak every single day, right? But I don't even know what they were doing, to be honest. Gump, Gump did well. He got two, to be fair. The entry on ramp room and a kill in lobby, and then he gets traded. But from that four on three, like, Mind Freak just looking a little bit lost, maybe a little bit too loose, walking through the rest of that round. And uh, similar to Inferno, like the, it's those some of those mid to late rounds that really you'll want to see Mind Freak tighten up if they're going to hit the next that next level. Ooh. All right, out of war. Could they salvage it and get five? Give themselves something to play with? Maybe not. Not by the looks of things. Terry is just getting bullied. Time and time and time again on out and now banana pretty firing that angle using all of his bullets. He somehow still got two kills. I don't know how Art of War are getting half the kills that they're getting, but they are getting them. And that's giving them some chances in these rounds. Now Viridian's gonna have to check out in that meanwhile, Neo's jump spotting on the site. Mindfreak are gonna know exactly where he is, and that'll be a freebie for Gump. Viridian does peg one back and puts it into the 1v1. In-game leader versus in-game leader. He's gotten off the ladder silently. Yeah, both of them cutting sound. Tuck's expecting a bit of a reposition, maybe. Viridian's going to second-guess himself, go back up towards Heaven's side, and Tuck's just quite happy to tuck himself next to the hut, play the off-angles, but the longer that this takes for Viridian, he knows that Tux has to start to be worried about the walk-through radio room, and that's exactly what you're seeing here. Tux, he has to readjust his Ooh, position. Shot. Goosh comes through, and the leg. Both players doing a lot of damage. There's the drop that's probably been heard by Sucks and great cross air placement secures it for Mind Freak, but a very winnable scenario for Viridian. Yeah. And very aware of the timings that the T has to respect there. Just got the timing off by half a second there, Viridian, and it's given Mind Freak one more round, a chance at nine. Out of War, at least I've got a buy that looks reasonably competitive, although it's running pretty low on Util already in the round. Yeah. Which means they got to win duels in the early to mid-round. Most of the time. Off angle from Terry. Dink's pain, but cops an AWP in response. So that's going to be a man advantage here, Viridian. It's optimistic to be fighting outside with an MP9 like that. My freak slow it down. It's the smoke to windows. Flash over outside. Art of War reading this one well though. Two players here. On Annex and Warehouse side, Neo ready to trade as well, and you got Banana over on Secret side on Mind Freak. They're just sitting on outside waiting for the paint to dry, essentially. And Art of War losing patience, peeking out together, and all of them punished 9 3 for Mind Freak. It's looking like Groundhog Day here. Very, very dominant performance on the T side so far. Yeah.
I mean, again, Mind Freak. They would perhaps still be thinking a little bit about Inferno and how easy this series could have been had they actually picked that first map up. Now, though, it's really only the start of the job for Mind Freak tonight. Like, yeah, you're getting through your map pretty nicely, but it's only through the first half of this second map and still a lot of work to do when we come to Ancient, if we get there, which it seems like we will. The way things are going, Art of War need a big second half to 2-0 this series. All right, jumping back on into the swing of things. The scoreline 9-3. to three. Mind Freak are looking pretty damn solid here on Nuke. I have to say, it seems like uh, Art of War are kind of just waiting for Ancient at this point. Ricky in a bait position. Pain looking like he's making it uh, seem like they're on elbow retake. He's actually the one to get the kill on the cross. Ricky gets reacted to very fast. Good little trade there from Oath. Cross though is banana. Terry's made it out of squeaky and Gump was not ready for that pain now. Trying to buy time on the site. His two teammates are both in lower. He's the only one in upper, but the spacing is all over the place from Art of War. Barrel spotted out from Viridian. Oh, now they're throwing open the door. Playing silly buggers. But the T's still can't quite find the right avenue to get in until Oath comes for the heaven flank. Yeah, I mean, it's gonna be a pretty Big task for Oath to try to win this round. He's going to drop. That, of course, has been heard. And Texter spotting that out as well with a little bit of a jiggle peek there from Annex. One on two, low HP, 37. And he's got less than a minute now to work with, with his every move being tracked by Mind Freak. Seems an impossible task for Oath. And he's slowly but surely being whittled away at by those USPs, the Mosquito Bites, to get the job done. It's 10 to 3. Double digits achieved for Mind Freak, and they're on their way to victory on map two. Like a very clean dub from them, which makes you really scratch your head at the Inferno game, because, you know, you were kind of saying it. You're like, man, they win this game of Inferno. They're probably 2-0 here, but uh, they kind of let that slip through their fingers. Art of War going all or nothing here, despite not getting the bomb plant. They will 
get a four spike going for themselves. Let's see what they're able to do with it. It'll be a fast uppers play. Underarm smoke coming on through. The flash is providing coverage for the vent cross to come through here, but Gumps trying to chase them down. Ricky, oh, Ricky. He gets a two for one deal. That's allowed the bomb plan to go down, but dealing with Oath pretty comfortably. And Banana, as of yet, not spotted by Tux, apparently. I think that might have been uh, Tux just looking in the wrong direction, because he was definitely on his screen on my screen. But round one for my Freaks, it's not a big concern, I guess, losing that M4. You'd obviously prefer not to, but you're up 11-3. 11, 11, How mad can you really be at this point? Surely get the buy through from Art of War, and indeed they will. Could even, with that M4 save, get a, a drop over from Banana, give one of his teammates a little bit more util. But, uh, yeah. I don't know how much it's really going to help. They are kind of getting stomped. Getting Giga stomped right now. We're going to take attack time out. Indeed, Banana did drop an AK across to one of the other boys, it looks like. So that will definitely help things a little. Uh, Viridian calling attack timeout and uh, doing his best taco speech. Yeah. We're down 11 3. So what happened? We lost the map. We lost 13 3. Yep. It's probably saying, what do we want to do on Ancient, guys? If we win the knife, which, which side do you guys want to start? Seems like a reasonable conversation at this point. We'll exchange back and forth. Hex is going to dive into door. Already starting things off well for Mind Freak, and whatever Art of War discussed in their pause has already been disrupted and is starting to fall apart a little. Pain is having a bit of a look here to see if he can improve upon this lead that Mindfreak have found themselves. Not needing to come into play just yet. There's not a lot happening on outer. It's going to be a default back in toward lobby from out of war. Mindfreak seem pretty aware that there's not a whole lot happening around the map. I mean, Ricky's quite safe there on ramp. Pain's not spotted anything on outer. Tux hasn't seen much on outer. Maybe he's caught a glimpse of Terry. Seems to be pretty locked in, and I think the only reason that Payne would re-aggress there is that they had a bit of info that there might be somebody else on outer. Regardless, though, of the intentions and the knowledge, the round is going to go comfortably to Mind Freak. 12 to 3 now, the score. And that holding pattern doesn't seem like it's going to take very long. No, I mean, post pause, Texter just got in their face on lobby side and didn't really seem to be very much follow through after that from Art of War. Pretty cut and dry game in general for Mind Freak. A monster game from Ricky, 21 and 8. At one point, he was like 17, 16, 17 and 2, something like that. Um, Yeah, this buy, one flash on T side new. I don't know. I don't think that's good enough to get it done. Usually. But um, I don't know. Maybe you Eggs made a YouTube video about how to win T side nuke with one flash. I'm hoping so. Ricky spots some info. Text up. Didn't quite get the memo. Tux has gone floating into lobby. This round is somewhat pear shaped for Mind Freak. I don't know if you're a fan of pears, Pilski, but I'm not really. So, anything I always that's buy, pear shaped uh, is not good. You know, fruit and veg is pretty expensive these days, so. Mm. I don't mind. I, I can get the odd lunch bag of pears from Woolies for like three right. bucks. You get like six pears. Six ugly pairs. They're not even ugly. They're fine. There's nothing but, wrong with them. But that's the selling point, right? Is that they're like ugly or that they're like... Is that what that is that what you're saying? The odd bunch? Because yeah, I've seen that like... for onions. Yeah, I get the onions. You can get... Yeah, I get the crazy carrots. Oh, that's what they're called? What are yeah. the onions called? I don't even know. Out of this world onions. I don't know. But I do get the onions. Because I feel like... An onion's an onion, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're going to cut it up anyway. Yeah, same for carrots, though. 
Yep, all looks the same when it comes out the other end. I can't believe I've just said that. 12 to 4. <laughs> that's the kind yeah, of joke my dad would make. I think that's that's me getting to 30 years old and just saying, whatever. Yeah, very, very it's all down here. Ready. It's all downhill at this point. Yeah. Pain. He's got the all out. You got a hero rifle for Tux as well. It's like both of those players are fighting outside, but both of them are locked behind a bunch of smokes, so probably not going to get much of a chance to put these rifles to use this round. Ah, uh, well, oh, there was Terry. a chance there for Payne, but uh, he was definitely not expecting Terry to do that. Turn it on, Terry. He needs to turn it on. He has not done very much this series. Terry's not dropping a 1.3, and Art of War is kind of struggling. Oh, dear. That's not how you want to lose a round. Yeah, well, it's not over yet for Art of War, but it is slowly getting that way. Texter, a bit worried about Ram. He doesn't need to be. And spots one out in the control room. Now it's on Ricky. And again, he's got main character syndrome at the moment. Deagle headshot. It's going to be put down. Bomb plant out in no man's land. Oh dear, Tux. Perfect timing through the double doors. And now Viridian, well, his position was spotted out by Texas. So Mindfreak should be aware that he is around the control room. And Viridian thinks he spotted somebody on ramp. But, but, what? Mindfreak's looking at ramp? I do. Yeah, look, let's just go to the next map, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, that was a pretty big dump, 140 ADR. Very nice game from Ricky. But, yeah, I mean, look, Inferno could have gone the way of Mind Freak. You can't say the same thing for Art of War there. Nuke is still pretty bad uh, compared to what Mind Freak is putting together. So we're going to end up in the middle of the map pool on Ancient. Um, Mind Freak. We'll look at this and say we are decent enough on Ancient to take that away from Art of War. It's just about uh, executing on our game plan and see if they're going to be able to do that here as they will look to lock themselves in for an upper bracket final against FlyQuest. I mean, for both teams, that feels like a bit of a doomed kind of a matchup, but, you know, you've got to have your crack and see how things go and helps you out a little bit down in that lower bracket as well if uh, it does come to that. So, Mind Freak to start on the CT side by the looks of things and Art of War... With a little bit of util here in the back pocket for Viridian. Yeah, so same starting sides as the last time these two teams did play Ancient. Gump, going to peek, try into A main, spots out at least two players. Try to bait them into text up, boost it up with the dualies here. We'll see if Art of War do bite it. Oh, Gump, head banged off. Not quite, but it's... He's like nearly headless Nick from Harry Potter. Let's just put it that way. Art of War are not going to commit off the back of that. They've actually done a pretty good job of bleeding out the vast majority of the Mind Freak util, and they've still got a lot of time here on this T side to play with. You have the drywall through Donut. Gump spotting that out. Beautiful crosshair placement, despite being low HP. Still going to find some impact here, and a pretty good read for Mind Freak. They've settled things back to a bit more of a natural-looking rotation. Texter still hasn't been tested up top. Out onto the line. They don't check him at all, but he's having a tough time connecting these shots with the dualies. How is he not being cleaned up yet? Everyone's whipping their shots. To be like that sometimes. Oh, he's going to fake the plan. It draws out a massive peak from Mind Freak, and it will work out nicely. 1 0 for Mind Freak. They begin the campaign on Ancient with a dub. Yeah, better start than last time. Last time they, they lost that uh, first pistol. And we're kind of uh, trailing on the uh, initial parts of the game. They went down 1-5 to five in the opening six rounds. So better start on Ancient this time. And actually, I mean, tonight, let's be honest, Mind Freak have had a good start in every single half. Uh, I think that started like maybe losing the... On Nuke or something like that in the second half, but they're already up so far that it didn't really matter. Well, that flash is going to catch Ricky in the face, so he's not able to punish too much with the MP9. Texas is going to have his own crack and pain. 
This is the perfect setup. It's like a blender that Art of War have walked into. A giant human sized one. A bit grim, but you know, MP9's getting the job done. 2 to 0 for Mind Freak. Obviously, not going to be looking to upgrade these guns, which will mean going into round three. We've got a bit of a bonus situation here for the CT side. Yeah, and that's something that Art of War is going to be voluntarily aware of. Wouldn't be surprised if we see some slower pacing from them, or maybe like just straight up an A execute. Um, need to be aware that my freak wants to pick the pace up, and that usually comes in the form of fast mid control or some kind of like set play down B when you're running it down a kind of crunching shelf. At least in this case, it is going to be aggression over here on the shelf side. And Tuck still finds the opening pick, traded by Terry, but here's this B ramp second wave of aggression. Smoke to the bottom of B ramp. It's a pretty big tell that Neo needs to be switched on here, but he's only able to go one for one. No damage onto Oath from that nade. Techstar is going to recollect the AK and hope that that smoke's not going to fade. So he'll be able to get out okay. Bomb still somewhat in control for Mind Freak here. And Payne, oh, I just got to get back around the corner now that he's got the info. Giving away his position. Still sort of playing with Viridian. And oh, that's worked out perfectly. It's a bait and switch for Gump, who isn't quite able to double down, but does do a lot of damage to Oath. And Texter is going to get the old bait and switch going again. Poor old Oath. No idea. I spotted B round. They weren't ready for him. And he's not ready for Terry. Uh, very, very messy round. Whether Mind Freak wins this 1v1 or not, they're going to be happy with the result. They've inflicted so much damage on the bonus here. Terry trying to hold on. Got to retrieve that bomb. Mind Freak well aware that that was where it was last positioned. And now Payne being the 15th person to go through Cheetah to shelf side this round. Look at all of those X's on the map. This is just ridiculous. It's a graveyard. Bottom of B ramp and shelf side. I mean, at this point... down. Terry's got to have no idea where Pain is. So that is some slight advantage to Pain. He's got a Molly, a Smoke, and a Nade. And does he spot the gun barrel? He does. He does. And he gets rid of Terry. So a nice clutch from Pain. Very costly round for main free, but a round nonetheless. No, that's a great round. They came to that with four MP Knights have won it. Oh, true. 8.4k for Payne, he's picked up an AK and the money on Art of War's reset. That's, the, again, the best possible start to the half you could get is Mind Freak. Yeah, I'm going Outside to sleep Outside of maybe wheel. winning it flawlessly and picking up five AKs, that's as good as it gets. Yeah, nice work from Payne. And I especially enjoyed the uh, bait and switch antics around the Cheetah area, but hey. Back to the drawing board for Art of War. I mean, job's not done yet for my freak. Got to get through one more gun round. It's a pretty light buy as far as the units is concerned for Art of War. Oh, another nade stab on the round. Pulled the trigger on that a couple of times. Smoke obscuring Banana's vision. Neo has made it across into the corner. Ricky on the hunt for him, but not switched on enough for the peak to come out from Neo this time. My freak with the player disadvantage and under a lot of pressure in middle as well. Pain. Good for one, but not the other. And now the swing has to come through from Gump, which is going to be at least an equalizing kill. In terms of control of this round, though, you'd have to put that in the shoulders of Art of War. They have taken the B site, and they're going to get a very nice post plan here. And they're going to get a very nice open plan as well if they want it. Deciding not to. Oh, Neo. Got a round from him. 3k. Nothing but headshots. Gump just going to turn around and save. Good reply from Art of War. Gonna be uh, a buy in the next for Mind Freak though. But at least things going a little bit more back and forth early on here. This is where Pain can get the AWP out. I'm not gonna be hunted to the ends of the earth here, Banana. It's gonna be quite happy to just hold on to the AK. Brilliant, just running outside of the bomb radius, so all four players in the server will survive. This is where, yeah, the money's a bit weird. Payne's going to buy an AWP. You're going to get one rifle dropped across, but it's down again to probably a couple of MP9s here for Tux and Techstar. Payne has not had a lot of impact with the AWP tonight, Jordan. 
Nope. And this is a big round to be doing it. Where is he going to set himself up? <laughs> B ramp, maybe. Seems to be a favorite position for him. It's going to be B long watching ramp, so more or less expected. But not a particularly aggressive position. Starting to probe his way forward. Well, it's a light freak on the A side of the map. It's a close setup between Gump and Texter. Little crossfire. All posted up on the line and Ricky playing close, just jiggling with a smoke in hand. Art of War in the meantime, working the map, mulling out close A and taking some mid control. Still a fair bit of util for the mid to late round. And they have really not spotted out too much resistance in middle, which is going to give them a fair bit of information about what the CT setup is right now. Oh, great shot again from Banana. Ricky punished for a second time trying to walk down the ramp. Yeah. Something that might, I mean, be, might have a, to change up. Dropped a smoke behind him. Pain now on this line. Needs to come up huge for Mind Freak, and he's starting well. And the A push there, beautiful shot from Texter. Triple ding with the MP9. And now Art of War, 35 seconds on the clock. They've lost all A control. They know the AWP was over towards Cave. They're going to try to avoid it. Going back to middle. Gump in a decent position to rotate through Red Room. Texter has taken A main control and can hear these footsteps. He's calling for the rotations now. Yeah, he's been a bit of an MP9 demon, this Texter lad. Not sure where they found him. Needs him to go across onto the side, won't do too much. Gump here with the spam out from the smoke is going to be saved by Tux. Lucky man. Both was walking through that smoke. And now it's on to Viridian Solo. That is looking like wishful thinking at this point, but he's going to give it a crack. He's got a couple of flashes to play with. Slowly but surely, Mind Freak are clearing the site, and there's only one place that he can be. And so Tux is set up, ready, and waiting for that one. Luckily, he was full HP. Otherwise, Viridian might have been on for something there. It's a 4-1 to one scoreline, though, for Mind Freak. And Art of War, uh, slowly but surely, finding themselves in a bit of a sticky situation. Reinvestments there from Art of War, though. Mind Freak holding on to a lot of guns there, but this play is getting quite low. So quite fortunate to come through that round with so many guns up. A couple of upgrades in there as well. Control out there from Mind Freak. Pain 8 and 1 so far. This is the game that we wanted to see from him. Oh, beautiful opener as well. Getting active, mixing up the positioning. Passive position over towards backside of B in the round previous. This time taking matters into his own hands. Just taking that dry peak bottom middle and being successful early on. Mind Freak now shifting into a pretty passive setup here. Two to hold B. Too pretty passive on A. Payne still posted up on that mid info line and a lot of util to play with as we head into the mid to late round here. It's going to be a perfectly timed smoke as well that'll keep Art of War down in B lane. Yeah, Viridian thinking about what util he wants to set up on B. Sam going back and forth, but Art of War, they're going to have to hit the site and they're going to do it now. Ricky. Through the flash, he's going to get himself one, and he's ready for the rest of the push as well. Nicely helped out by Tux and Texta, and that is a beautiful hold from Mind Freak. A perfect round, five guns alive. Scoreline five to one. You couldn't really ask for much more. It's the complete opposite to the last time these two teams played, actually. Starting out on the same side, Art of War started 5 1 on their T side versus Mind Freak CT. This time, it's a complete role reversal. Mind Freak up 5 1 with a very strong CT economy to boot. And that round really looked like kind of what I was criticizing Mind Freak for on their game of Inferno. Like, first pick loss from Art of War, a pretty uninspired mid to late round that they called trying to go for that B set play. And they're just trying to run through a brick wall of util without doing their due diligence work in the map. Mind Freak, just the reactive utility, the good rotations. And uh, playing those really disruptive positions inside of the chokes uh, make it impossible for Art of War to actually scale into the site and get any ground at all. They just get shut down before they even get started. Take nines. Going to be the option of choice for Art of War. Might be a faster play towards B. That's where they're headed. And they're 
They're going to have to go through a lot of util if that's what they want to do. Couple of mollies. Stack. Oh, it might hit this time. Oh! <laughs> That is juicy. They've thrown that a couple of times now, and this time it's finally worked out. Well, nice start to the round for Mind Freak, and probably a nice end to the round as well, quite frankly. Don't see Terry and Brilliant coming back from that. Bit shell shocked, maybe. They got some PTSD. Go. Terry and Eddie getting to know each other a little better inside the cave. Probably the best use of the time, honestly. A little bit of uh, rapport building, because uh, you're going to need some pretty strong chemistry. Get the boys together to try to compete this comeback. Bit of a nightmare situation, honestly. This is the mind freak that we want to be seeing, though. And I know Art of War have won two series in a row, but... Uh, I mean, the whole time I've kind of been thinking to myself, surely my freak is going to get this together. And like I said last time, I, mean, I felt like they probably should have won and they threw it in the bin. This time, they're playing a hell of a lot better. Yeah, but let's not count our chickens before they've hatched because I've seen that a few times from Mind Freak where they've looked good. They've looked like they're going to win a map and they haven't. They did that, obviously, like you said, on Ancient at Extremes Land qualifiers and... Even earlier tonight on Inferno, it, it definitely looked like it was a Mind Freak map and still ended up being Art of Wars. I mean, granted, it's a bit of a different conversation there because, again, Inferno is a very good map for Art of War just generally, so you do have to give them some level of respect on that. But Mind Freak, you know, maybe showing a bit of a tendency to struggle to close some of these maps out. And hopefully that won't be the case here. Six and one, you know, it should be your map to lose at this point. And they're you know, really looking to lock in and force their way through the upper bracket. Texta Tux. Both getting involved early on in the round, and again, a beautiful start to the round, and pretty much an end to the round as well. So, so far, so good for Mind Freak. No signs of a trophy problem here. That could be an important kill, though. Able to get into the big side now. Molotov going to zone, paint back a little bit. Banana hears mm. the shot and dives forward, even on 5 HP. It's a confident peak to be taking. Very winnable 2 on 3 now. Tux and Tex, they're walking their way through B-Ramp behind the smoke thrown earlier by Ricky. It should dissipate any moment now and come spotting a player out as well. Well, this would be the kind of round, though, that Art of War would love to win. And Banana survived on 1 HP. Yes, he's behind the smoke, but if he can get even one more kill here, it could be a difference maker. Unfortunately, not for Art of War and fortunately for Mind Freak, because that would be the exact kind of round that we would have actually seen in some of the previous matches that you go okay this map's kind of like locked in for mind freak and then they'd lose a round like that or they'd lose to like a pistol buy or something like that and you go okay that's not good and our wall then goes on to win it but in this case mind freak have uh, avoided that kind of crisis i feel like mind freak's winning a lot of rounds with like set plays though right like the nade stack in the round previous that round the b aggression works perfectly like it feels like they're Calling some really, really good set plays on the CT side that are kind of catching up. Pretty hard again. Massive util damage and the spam from Gump. Art of War right off the rip. Losing a player and a handful of HP. Just trying to make it into middle. This util usage and the calling from Mind Freak on CT right now is beautiful. I'm happy to just jiggle Donut and see if there's any info to be spotted. And while you have Texar more or less doing the same in Red Room and lovely timing on the Molotov will force Oath away. Mm. Banana was very key on the active lurk on Inferno. This time a bit more of a passive roll, bottom of B ramp, not activating just yet. Joined up by a couple of the other boys. Terry, in fact, will kind of turn into the lurk in this scenario. Sitting around inside the donut. There's the double peak trying to catch Ricky. He's able to drop the smoke fast enough. And the free fire is beautiful. Tux there ready to back him up, but it's not even needed. Ricky holding these pushes and Viridian's cop to dig through the smoke again. It's a round where Art of War just kind of goes for something that seems a little uninspired and gets punished by some reactive utility and some... Seems like anything Art of War tries to do right now is being met with a brick wall. Pain. 
be flashed out of his position. And now under a pressure, actually, this is starting to fall apart. Pain had to land one of those shots. Now we're back to two on two. Tucks around the corner, luckily, on the timing. There to save it again for Mind Freak. There are some cracks starting to show, but they're not turning into canyons just yet. No, this, the only canyon is the one on the school board right now. Eight and one. Nux is having a great game as well. Like, he's kind of been the statistically weakest player on Mind Freak doing the calling for the boys. On previous iterations of Mind Freak, he was calling and fragging and orping at times. Um, so, I mean, these are the kind of performances that you see. A couple of big halves or like some big rounds that you know Tux is capable of when he does get to lock in a little bit. Um, which can definitely add some more ceiling to Mind Freak. It happen all the time. But uh, that just can happen from time to time. Another nade stack hitting. Oh my god, it's like Art of War's trying to move through the bloody map. And they're running into mortars. Snipers posted up on their position. We're playing bloody Battlefield right now. <laughs> Destructible environment comes next. That's in the next patch. <laughs> I mean, I think, yeah, Bernardas made a cheetah somehow. And uh, yeah, look, okay. It's a nice little uh, look back in. Don't get Perhaps. baited. You've been baited like three times this half. It's like, oh, okay, maybe there's something. <laughs> and then there's nothing, unfortunately, for no. Art of War. Yeah, but nah. So, yeah. Vertical flick? No. I was going to say, that yeah. would actually be a bit of a pain, uh, pain classic to hit a shot like that, but not this time. Left eye, right eye peak is what you were going to say. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Terry. Terry, Terry, Terry. How have we ended up here then, mate? Two CTs on the other side of the smoke. He's going to swap his view model just to get one tapped in the face. Nine and one for Mind Freak. Well, back to it for Art of War. Unfortunately, the pain train don't stop. I mean, it's not even just pain, really. Tux, Ricky, and Tex are all doing really well for themselves. Oh, Gump is oh. playing support act, and again, more nade damage. I thought Banana was going to die under the triple nade. Gump, underarm flash is beautiful, catches two. He's going to throw the same one again. Why not? Banana. Three. Catch one on the lurk, but this they're out, eh? I mean, yeah, it's kind they're of out B as well. They're, they're out. They're out as much as they can be out. What is going on? <laughs> what is going on? Yeah, out of I war, I've got a round. That was a round. That was a round of all time. Yeah. I don't know what to say. But uh, could well, still be 10 for Mind Freak. It's the Copium. They get three here out of war and a pistol. It's doable. It's very doable in MR12. CT side combat is going to be rough though. A text is helping now. Why not? Gump's got a double headshot. Aggressing A main. Wow. When Mind Freak plays this well, like, yeah, it's hard not to fanboy. There's another one for Mr. Gump. Just when I said, you know, he's not really having to do too much. Now he's all of a sudden up to 9 and 4, just to get back in line with the rest of the lads. So, fair enough. And that is that. 10-2 at the end of the first half is a very dominant display from Mind Freak. We'll take a look back at the highlights. And I'd say most of them are going to be from the perspective of Mind Freak. This is the Mind Freak uh, announcement frag movie right now. Just clip, just clip this highlight package, chuck it on Twitter. Mind Freak uh, Twitter. It's uh, probably all you need to do. What a great CT site, and it wasn't just the fragging; it was also some great setups, some great util usage. Uh, showcased by Mind Freak, changing up the narrative from the last time these two teams played on Ancient. Let's see if they can close it out after the break.
That's a pretty dismal looking scoreline for Art of War. It's not the third map that we hoped that it would be. It has been generally pretty competitive between Art of War and Mind Freak uh, on Ancient and even just in series in general. But tonight has definitely felt a little bit more like Mind Freak's night. For sure. It's going to start off well. Paint able to pick up Terry. Oath on the push through A main. Hand in hand with Viridian, who's going to go back and try to re clear, cover Donut. Ricky's all the way up big ramp, just waiting for a rotation out of cave, knowing that there's at least one CT in there. So this is another round that essentially comes down to timings. Some very weird positioning around here. Ricky. Was waited for by Neo, and that is going to keep Art of War in the fight. Tux is turned to have a bit of a look. Viridian's going to fall in middle, and Techstar... Getting a bit of work done there as well. It's uh, not too bad of a setup here for Mind Freak so far. They'll know that Neo's there in cave. Ricky spotted two. Bomb Plant's going to go down. And now it's on to Oath. If his timing is good, which it is, there's Pain. Head getting lopped off and greeted by a headshot of his own. Oath down to 12 HP has a pretty monumental task ahead against two remaining members of Mind Freak that are looking very good tonight. It is 11 to 2 now, and Mind Freak are looking to clean this one up without any troubles at all. Yeah. It's going from strength to strength, really. Banana with three grand. Don't think he bought anything in that pistol. Not sure why. Feels like things are starting to come apart at the seams here for Art of War. Mind Freak playing an excellent game tonight. Gump was the standard and I'm on Ancient. This time he's the bottom frag at 9 of 5, where, and everyone else is stepping up across the board. Next up, first pick, pain, instant trade through the smoke. Fight next on shelf to be taken by Banana, who's actually switching his way through the smoke. That's going to be a freebie onto pain, but should be traded pretty quickly. Meridian trying to mount some last man defense. Uh, that's going to be over towards the B-bomb site. Neo just gets bombarded again. I mean, I'd love to see the util damage for Mind Freak this game. I'm sure it's off the charts. Yeah. And now it's brilliant. Yep. An armored scout on the wrong side of the map. Although, the walk through Red Room could make something happen here. Hmm. Viridian choosing to go back towards the B side, so he probably just hold on to this scout, save it for the next round and what could be at 12 2, the, the last round of the game. I don't even know what I'm hoping for here. I don't think Meridian really knows. Needed some good clean headshots and he didn't get them. 12 to 2. Speaking of good and clean, it's looking like that is Mind Freak's mantra today. There's barely any money for Art of War. Mind Freak up. 10 rounds the advantage. Surely. This is it. Surely this is the time for Mind Freak to uh, get that elusive win over Art of War. Yeah. <clears throat> A very dominant win, a bit of a statement win as well after conceding a couple of series to them in a row. Last one, as far as I'm concerned, should have been one that they were able to win. Gump's trying to bust out middle, running through a Molotov and sprayed down by the MP9s this round. And not starting the way that Mind Freak would have wanted. A little one tap on the Mac 10. Gump makes it look like a rifle. Banana trying to slip out Cheater on the timing. At least Neo's able to trade from top side of B ramp. So Mind Freak, a player down. A little bit of mid control. Going to go back through the middle of the map, expecting Neo to push down B ramp. Next to time this correctly. Quite. Pain not able to trade either. Art of War staying alive. Yeah, in the most Mind Freak fashion as well, isn't it? It's like, yeah, that's the round that you lose. Of all the rounds, that's the one. Ricky's keen for it. So is Tux. Guess that's the IGL stamp of approval that we're forcing into this round. I mean, it's 1900 loss bonus. Gump only has 1900, so you won't be getting a great buy next round for him anyway. 
Try and put a bit yeah. of a smattering of a buy together here for Mind Freak. They're going to take attack time out. Have a chat about what they can put together with a buy like this. One way or another, they're going to get across the line. Nine in a row is a bit outside uh, the realms of reality for Art of, Art of War. 19 and 5 from Tux. Everyone's had a pretty huge game tonight from Mind Freak. All of the old heads. Texter map 1 was pretty phenomenal. Ricky map 2. Now Tux map 3. They're all taking turns having a bit of a carry. Yes, sir. See if this is going to be the end of it for Art of War. If they bought themselves a little bit more time, it seems that maybe it'll be the latter. Neo. Alongside Banana, able to get themselves an opening kill in this round. The Tux and Texer have been brutalized as well. Somehow they're still walking, but that might not last long. Come through that smoke. Not going to survive, and nor will Tux. So 12 still persists for Mind Freak. And Art of War. Well, at this point, there isn't really much to comment on. I did want to say, you know, maybe recovering some confidence or anything, but uh, it's a bit too early for that yet. Yeah, I mean, they've earned themselves an anti-eco at least. And even in the gun round next for Mind Freak, unless they get a bomb plant, they're going to be lacking a little bit in the util department. Maybe have to go down for some blills. Mind Freak respecting the util bottom mid. Gonna jump through the smoke and a bit of a shooting gallery. At least one. Kill being traded back. Pain having a tough time finishing his dinner. Lost his appetite about 18 minutes into the clock, clock clip. And uh, down he goes. By round time for Mind Freak. So this is this is crunch time for Art of War. You got a little cheeky round win in there with the Force Buy. You get your anti Force Buy win. And now it's gun round on gun round and Art of War if they are to make anything of this map and of this series. This is their first proper test on the CT side. Haven't given themselves a lot of room to work with, certainly, but... I have to give it a crack. Art of War, take mid control. Uh, Mind Freak are not interested. They are trending toward A. And Art of War have to be figuring that out pretty quick smart now. They've cleared out mid, they've cleared out lane out onto a long there from art of war will delay the push from mind freak for a moment and that allows time for the cts to come across this is going to be a real brawl here comes mind freak tux with the opener and paint a trade it's a decent enough start and maybe a finish as well from mind freak that's clean as a whistle from pain two kills on that entry to help tux out bomb plant goes down neo the last man standing will need half of the smoke open but no. there's really only so much they can do ricky's even trying to give him a bit of a helping hand uh, flashing himself out into a three-way cross fire does not seem like it's going to be the way that he gets to win this round or this series as finally mind freak will get over their rival it's been a bit of a rivalry that's been developing here in the oceania scene and uh, they do manage to dislodge art of war so scoreline now is one to two between mind freak and art of war as far as series art concerned. Yeah, but in terms of momentum and the way that this matchup seems to be trending, you're starting to feel...